Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, it's day 30 of the quarantine lockdown, and I don't know about you, but I think I could use a change of scenery. Ooh, I think something a little bit more tropical. Yeah, that's it. So today's video is going to be a channel update as well as an update on the hobby store. And what I was saying earlier about not having internet for the last day is true. So that has been a very fun experience. Now, obviously, uh, you guys all know, there's no secret, there's been a little bit of a pandemic going around the world. And I had to close my store starting April 1st. And from what I understand, I was able to finally get on the internet and check out what the government order is for Arizona. And it appears starting May 8th, Friday, that we will be allowed to open up the hobby store for customers to come inside. Now, there are some situations we have to take care of. Obviously, we have to practice social distancing inside there, and we'll have to limit the number of customers coming in the store at one time. But all that will be taken care of going forward. Plus, we'll have to clean and sanitize constantly around the store, which I was doing already anyway, because obviously I don't want you guys to get sick, and I certainly don't want to get sick as well myself. So, beginning 10 a.m. on Friday, May 8th, we will be opening up the store. We will have limited hours from 10 to 4 every day, Monday, Saturday, and then, excuse me, Monday through Friday, and then Saturday. We'll still be closed our normal Sundays. Uh, so that's a quick little update on the actual physical retail store. Keep in mind, too, for everybody all over the United States, andyshq.com is still open, and they're still pouring out orders all the time. So... Now that we're done with all that portion of it, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about um, the actual channel and some of the things we'll be working on. First of all, I've still been having orders sent to my house during this time so I can get new product in. So when we open up next week, we will have some new product. And what I'll do right now is I'm going to go get that stuff and bring it over to you and show you guys right now. Okay, so we're back and you guys saw me... Uh, review this kit right here a couple days ago. I want to let you know that I have started it up and got the whole lower portion of the the hull put together with the wheels and all that. It's going together wonderfully just like their F1 model. So I would expect probably within the next couple of days that we should have a complete video out on this. Also I've been notified by Tamiya. Tamiya has some real special stuff that they're going to be sending out to us here that we're going to be building up and I'll let you know more about that later on. Okay, I also have a, a quick little note too for you book collectors. About two and a half years ago, Wright and Publication under Feist Books reissued their Panther and they changed some things around on it and this book sold so fast for them. They sold out in two weeks before the book even arrived in the United States. And uh, I'm friends with the, uh, the publisher of this, and I've convinced him to do another run of these. So look for this this summer. They're going to do another limited run. Uh, I'm not sure how many copies yet, but you'll be able to get a hold of this book. Plus, we're working on a uh, European distributor. A European distributor will be able to get these out to everybody in Europe, but at a really, really good rate for shipping. Because that's, that was always a big problem from shipping from the United States over to Europe. The shipping is just astronomical sometimes. So look, on the for, uh, look out, be on the lookout for this, I should say. Also, they are going to be reissuing at the same time the Storm Bishop's book. Now, this is a very old copy cover. This book came out a while ago, and they've changed some things around for the new edition, but it's going to fit in line with the, uh, the yellow stripe because you know they've done the, the Schwerpanzer and the Tiger as well. Well, the Storm Bishop's is finally coming out. It'll be coming out at the same time that they're going to be redoing the Panther, and very excited about this one too. This, Like I said, this is my old copy that's been around for a while, so the cover is going to be different, but same contents inside. But I'll let you guys know more about that once we actually get a little bit closer, but sometime this summer this will be coming out. Okay, and now we're going to talk quickly just about Wingnut Wings. Many of you may know, maybe some of you don't know, Wingnut Wings is closing down. I know there's been people talk about, they said that their website doesn't say it, but it is actually closing down. We know some of the people that work at the factory and, and actually distributors that have talked directly with Wingnuts, they are closing down. But good news is, I do have some Wingnut Wings kits still at the store, but this just showed up about 20 minutes ago. I was able to find one distributor that still had a pile of these Fokker D7s in stock. 
So uh, we got all of those into them. Plus, they also had some of the Softwood Snipes. As you see right here, only a couple of those. But I was really excited to get a hold of a Fokker D7. But that is to let you know. So inventory has been drying up around the world for Wingnut. And we were able to get a few of these. So when we open up on Friday, May 8th, we will have some of the Wingnut stuff in stock. And also, I just wanted to share with you a couple of other things that just showed up with that order of Wingnut stuff. Uh, we've got a bunch of Aoshima, so there's some very unusual car kits here. Plus, I'm super excited about these. We've got a whole bunch of these sets of tires and wheels, all these exotic tires and wheels for uh, 24th, 25th scale cars. And for the longest time, these for, from Aoshima are really tough to get a hold of in the United States. In fact, I haven't seen them in probably the last 15 years through a distributor. I know you can probably order them direct. But I found a distributor over here that carries these, and we will have all of these plus a lot more coming into the store. So if you're a car guy, lots of really cool stuff coming out. Plus, also, I'm just going to share this with you guys. This is a bunch of heavy equipment that Hasegawa released that we will also be bringing in. Uh, I believe it's in 35th scale. Yeah, 35th scale too. So you can actually use it with a modern, you know, modern day armor scene. So you've got even stuff like combines, just unusual stuff. And I thought it's good to mix it up a little bit on there. So all of this stuff will be available in the store on May 8th. Plus, I've also been notified that by Friday, we will have the new Ryfield model Challenger 2 in with the photo etch kits, which I'll put a picture in right now to show you guys what that looks like. They've been shipped to me. They just haven't shown up yet. And also, Tacom, their Panzer 3 will be available very soon, too, and should be any time now as well. So, so that's it, guys. I want to thank you guys, as always, for watching. And please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.